Good morning, folks. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to use Pandora's wallet, but I'm going to basically start off with, you know, creating an account, logging in, uh, and uh, and setting up your uh, Pandora's wallet for the very first time. All right. First off, we're going to start off with uh, heading over to the Pandora's wallet page, and then we're going to scroll down to subscribe. And uh, and remember, you do get a free month, one month free, um, automatically. But if you pay right away. That gives you actually two months in the Telegram group as well. All right. So with that said, um, I'm going to enter my name, right? Uh, D A V I N C I, Jeremy, and I'm going to enter in my username. I'm going to um, create a new user um, for this, and I'm going to call it uh, D J One, right? And my email so support at DaVinciCodes.net. I'm going to put in the password and then um, and then once I put in the password I'm going to repeat it right and I'm going to accept the terms and conditions right um, and uh, hit submit so then um, You'll note you'll notice right. Um, there's uh, um, uh, it says the email confirmation has been sent. It's a little bit tiny here. Um, the website will be redesigned so that this is a little bit bigger. But yeah, now you have to go back to your check your email and, um, and basically uh, uh, confirm that this is you. Once you've confirmed your email, you just head over to the login page uh, and you'd uh, enter in obviously your uh, your username. And which I put in DJ1, your email, support, and then of course your password. So don't forget your password, but if you forget, um, you will be able to reset it. And I seem to, uh, okay, remember me. I'm not going to leave this if it's remember me. So once I log in, right, um, I should get to the user panel. In the user panel, um, you'll notice that there uh, that there's no way to create a, uh, to connect to the um, the Telegram group because you're on a trial. So if you uh, pay for um, the subscription, you'll see a button here to enter the Telegram group. Um, uh, but for now, we're going to just use the trial version uh, to access um, my the Pandora's wallet um, uh, setting and just to get you introduced to the Pandora's wallet software. Okay, so um, I'm already logged in here, and I'm going to log in as another user. So I'm going to enter in the new user that I created. I've already downloaded the software and have it ready. So you get to download the software, of course, is just click the download right here. Um, let's head over and type in my uh, username, JJ1, and then I'm going to enter my password. This is the password for the website, of course, right? Not and, and there's going to be a second password that I'm going to have to create, but this is just for the website how and they're interconnected. So now that um, that password on the website is going to be the same one that I enter right here. All right, so I'm going to log in. So this password is the password that you need for your keys. Make sure it's not the password you use for logging in um, because uh, it's not as secure. Uh, this password should be unique and, and make sure you remember it uh, because if you forget, um, there's no way to recover this password unless you have your uh, 24 words, which we are going to store. Okay, so next we're gonna, the next option we have is like selecting the uh, cryptocurrency as our uh, base currency. You can select Bitcoin and now that we have Ethereum, you could also select Ethereum. So, I'm, but I'm a Bitcoin maximalist, <laughs> so I'm going to select Bitcoin. Right? Um, do I want to create this account? Yes, I do. And there you have it. After you've created your account, you should immediately go and create a backup. There are two sets of backups that you can create. One is a, a 24 word backup phrase. The other one is the file recovery. The, you should do both. Uh, one is to recover your money. The other will recover all the exchange data that's going on. 
All right, so now uh, I'm going to copy this and put this in a safe place. Now, yes, you guys will have, you do see this, um, this text file, and um, it will, um, you will have access to that money, but I'm not going to um, actually uh, use this account uh, for anything, so it's all right. Uh, you can go ahead and try to uh, uh, put it in and uh, grab the money. It's okay. There's not going to be any money in this. So copy that, paste that, save that somewhere safe because that's very, very, very critical. All right. So now that you've done that, um, uh, you can actually send money to your account and, and do some trades. And yeah, uh, if you want to add more currencies, you can do so by adding more currencies here. Um, uh, let's just add, let's, let's add dash and there we go. So let me just send some, uh, some dash and some, uh, Bitcoin to this account because I have, um, other accounts already set up. I'm just going to switch over to, uh, those other accounts and, uh, transfer some money there and then transfer it back. Uh, because I'm not going to leave it there because you guys have a key, private keys. <laughs> All right. With that said, um, so I'm going to transfer a little bit of dash, um, and a little bit of Bitcoin. Let's just see here. So let me just, um, well, I forgot to actually get the actual, um, addresses that I have on the other account. So let me go quickly back and get that, those addresses. And then, um, then we can actually send those coins to the, to those, um, so let's just copy, right? And let's paste this into here so that we have a copy of the uh, address for uh, Bitcoin. And then we have a copy of the address for Dash, right? And so that you can see this whole process going through. Alrighty, so now that I have that, uh, I'm just going to go connect here to my other account go and then we're going to actually send a little bit of Bitcoin first dash let's do some dash so we already have it in the, in the clipboard the address and I'm gonna put in 0 0.01 dash send yeah I'm gonna send that dash right and then of course you have to enter that password right um, for your keys in order to um, open it and release those funds. And once that's done, you will see, um, we'll be able to see the dash on the other side. Let's copy, whilst we're waiting for that, um, we're gonna copy over, I'm gonna close that, don't, don't save. We're gonna copy over the, um, the Bitcoin address. And then we're gonna send that. Um, sometimes this takes a while and we are going to be working on that. So, um, but, uh, yeah, we just have to be a little bit patient right now. And once we've, once it's that that's been fixed, um, it should be a lot faster. All right. So, um, should be done any second now. You can see that it's already sent it because it's, I, I had 0 0.5 here and, um, and not really, um, and it should be, uh, yeah, it should be more. So anyways, there we go. Now that that's done, you could see that it's sent here. There you go, it's seen in transaction sent. Now we're gonna send uh, some Bitcoin and, uh, and uh, then we're gonna jump to uh, zero point, seeing if uh, the Bitcoin shows up on the other side, zero one there we go send there we go now i gotta hit enter my password once again and yeah sometimes this is fast sometimes it's slow and then we once that's done um we will go over to to the other side And there we go. There you have it. We have it done. Uh, let's head over to the other side uh, and hit, we're going to hit connect and go back to the Richard J DJ one uh, account and 
see what we see over there. Right? Um, we should see. You can see, um, took a few seconds, but here it is. Uh, we have the transactions for each of those cryptocurrency. All right, so there is your uh, quick overview and how to create an account and uh, how to use it quickly uh, to transfer coins. Thanks for watching. Bye now.